So this is the reservoir at the back. It's not full, it's supposed to be full to the max, but I've already started using it. So this is just a demonstration. The power button turns it on. Now you'll notice this goes to red. This is a lock button, a safety button. So once you power on, even to power off, you have to unlock the unit. So three seconds, and it, it now it's white on the sun. So this is the capacity, how much water you want or you know to come down. This is the temperature. Right now it's at cold water. So if I hit this fence, which is that, you'll see that there you go. This is cold water. And based on what I've told it to do, it will dispense that amount of water. Now keep in mind that this bottom tray can be raised at different locations. So if you have a really small cup and you didn't want this much distance, you could actually raise the tray and put it higher up. I don't really see the need for it, this tray, to move it up because I don't think there's enough distance that you spill. And you can stop the dispensing at any time if it gets too high. Like you notice I'm coming up to the top and it stopped, okay? Take this out, let me take a taste while I'm at it. Yeah, that's some good water. I'm gonna pour it out just to show you now that I'm gonna raise the temperature all the way to the top. So now I'll be dispensing very hot water. Now, when I press, oh, I went too much, okay. If you go up past the top, it reset, that's hot, that's, that's his max. So I've hit this fence. Notice now this is blinking red instead of blue. It was blinking blue for cold water. And now maybe you can see, a, I hope you can see a steam coming off the water. Oh, there you go, you see that steam? That's boiling hot water, I wouldn't put my finger there. Okay, works, it's very hot water, enough for you to immediately make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Not sure how long it stays hot because we don't like microwave water and water heat up like this. You know, depending on the cup you use, you know, it'll probably stay hot. But that's it. The water tastes pretty darn good. And I'll be using this continuously. Hopefully this will not only save the um, amount of bottled water I buy, but um, I'll soon be able to tell how much energy it actually uses if it changes my electricity bill. Again, the only one thing, the downside is this container is not very large. So if you're using this as a daily um, water source for drinking water and you drink a lot of water, you have to keep in mind to keep refilling that um, water reservoir. I'm gonna stop this just to show you here at the back. You can see inside there that white, that's the filter. It, it, it sort of screws in or twists into the container and it needs to be changed every 30 days. The last I checked online, you can, for about $70, you can get 12 months worth of um, filters. So I guess that's 12 filters for $70. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, if you're buying water at today's prices, if you actually manage to use this and, and cut out most of your buying bottled water, um, you definitely spend more than $70 a year in bottled water. So that's the Aqua Optima, Aurora I think it's called, water dispenser slash filtration system.